<clears throat> okay, this video is basically a quick run through of um, how to design a. It's just a very basic circuit for a variable tattoo power supply unit. Um, there's a couple of videos that I found on YouTube that demonstrate how to build a PSU taking an AC circuit to uh, converting it to a DC circuit and then you use a DC circuit. This basically bypasses the AC components of the circuit by using a self-contained DC adapter and then uh, it becomes very simple. You also have to procure a rheostat. The rheostat that I, I got uh, has a low amperage and I believe that it overheats a little easier than if you were to use like say a 1.19 amp or something higher or a 2 amp even is better which is kind of rare in rheostats. Um, the one I have is a 35 ohm 0.8 amp and you'll see in the circuit that I had to kind of reduce the current because the wall ward or the, the DC adapter that I'm using is an 18 volt DC adapter 2 amp and you can either use a smaller DC uh, self-contained DC adapter or um, or you can reduce the current and this I, t I took the cheaper option and just bought a voltage regulator to reduce the current so I'll show you the schematic and walk you through it all right so um, here's my uh, schematic so I, I put 12 to 18 volts here basically you can get a smaller uh, um, wool wart and it'll put less current through this or 2 amp you know it's smaller than 2 amp and the rheostat if you have a small rheostat it won't overheat um, but mine's 18 volts DC and it's 2 amps for current um, so basically uh, it goes to negative positive positive right here is a voltage regulator 7812 uh, puts out 12 volts DC to use and it reduces the current to 1 amp this goes to ground you want to heat sink this to a metal plate in your PSU um, there's a tab on the back with a screw hole and you want to use like a heat sinking compound um, that looks similar to that just a silicon heat sink, uh, sinking compound Next up, I put a capacitor in right after the voltage regulator to filter the signal. There might be uh, filters in the, the containing uh, DC adapter. Um, <clears throat> capacitor one's one microfarad. Uh, you know the voltage is 3550, and then it goes to your foot pedal. Um, I don't want the current to continually stream into the rheostat. The rheostat gets too hot in that case, um, and I don't know if it's related to that. The fact that it's 0.8 amp. But then it goes to your foot pedal here. Alright, so after the foot pedal, you have your 35 ohm, 0.8 amp rheostat. Um, the rheostat, if you're not familiar with the rheostat, the ground side is the side that normally sits uh, at its lowest setting. So. Um, Rheostats and knobs read uh, left to right. So here it's um, it's grounded. So if the knob's moving left to right, look on the back of the rheostat, and the knob where the knob normally sits closed at its lowest setting. Uh, that's where you want your ground to go off of the middle post or the post that's attached to the mechanism in the middle of the stat. That the, the slider that goes over the wires. Um, that help that creates a resistance for the current. That middle post is your is your output to your uh, machine, and then your inputs the other terminal. Um, and it, like I said, uh, because of that amperage, it, this one gets hot unless you do the uh, voltage regulator, and you have the current going into the foot pedal. Um, and then so here is a second capacitor. It's a 0.1 microfarad. Uh, and then after the micro, uh, the capacitor, it goes to your machine. Um, and uh, here's the uh, final product here. Um, basically, it's a uh, 
self, you know, just an enclosure. I got a cheap enclosure. Don't mind the tape. I punched some holes in it for heat. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. Um, underneath in that metal plate, I used a punch because I don't have a drill for metal. Uh, and then there's a circuit board over here that contains all the capacitors and whatnot, and it helps you easily follow your circuit. The voltage regulator is bent so that it lays on this metal plate and it's screwed in with a screw. The other one I grounded my uh, negative side of the circuit to it. Um, but that plate helps to dissipate the heat and then um, runs pretty well. Uh, you want to make sure that your foot switch cord goes in the appropriate terminal so that the current's not feeding into the rheostat. Yeah, like I, I don't know a whole lot about electronics so this was a learning process for me. Um, oh, it's on its uh, lowest setting, so we turn the knob up. It's got a nice taper, but it's slim. Uh, there's 12 volts there to mess with. So that's the lowest end of the spectrum. Uh, pretty, pretty easy to bog down. You know, it's a linear taper, so you can set it along. That right there sounds pretty good. Yeah, pretty consistent. Doesn't heat up like the Chinese uh, PSUs. Um, my gun here, that's, uh, those are uh, laboratory grade electromagnets. And I uh, wired them into a 22, that's 8 wrap. Those are 8 wrap coils five bucks and then I wired them into a 22 microfarad capacitor the cores are steel so there's some residual magnetism I believe and some of the stuff I've been reading uh, core tends to dissip or the iron cores tend to dissipate better I got a speed bar on there uh, a very t uh, tense uh, rear spring you know and just a front spring I could find I think it's good to match the tension on both um, I don't know though uh, and then, um, you know, obviously it's a liner. It's my uh, fast liner. So, basically increasing the voltage increases the, the punch so that it doesn't bog down. Um, you know, but this will go right up to 12 volts, uh, as much as that regulator will allow. You know, that's way too much. But it's there. It's there if you got a... a, a shader with a really big gap um, that can really pack it in with a 12 yeah see so nice linear taper doesn't heat up I use a basic meter kinda gives you an idea where your voltage is um, but you should be able to do it by ear